What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Uh, I think it's safe to say 85% of the lineup of Invasion Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> has made it. And uh, and fellas, I, th I appreciate you guys being here, man. We we talked. We've been talking with Alex for the last thirty minutes. We've been boys for a long time. But I want to get to know you guys. Please uh, properly introduce yourself. Let me know how you even know Alex. Um, you know why you joined the band. Anything you want to give me? Want to go first? Kevin, go I first, bud. I'll, I'll go first, bro. Well, I'm Kevin, or as some of the other people call me, the Hair. Uh, I joined Division about two years ago. And I come from like playing like core and tech death. And so joining the band was a little bit different for me playing this style of music, but I've enjoyed the journey so far. And the music that we got coming out is it's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to write. I'm really proud of it, to be honest. Cool. Nice to I mean, meet it's you. It's only going to get better uh, from here. I think the hair is the perfect name. So I'm going to roll with that. Cheers, hair. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, whoever wants to go next. Randy. Uh, I'm Randy. I'm the new drummer. I uh, joined in August. Uh, I've known Kevin and Alex since middle school. And uh, when Nate, their old drummer, stepped down, I kind of just had to shoot my shot and get in with the boys. And I'm glad I did because it's been sick. So you were kind of uh, you, you were kind of waiting, Randy. Just you were you were just in the background like. I heard this motherfucker is gonna quit soon. I'm just, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. No, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> I'm just playing with you, but for real, so you, it's good timing, though. Good timing on your end. Hell yeah. And then uh, yeah, Chase. Then, um, uh, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm Chase. Um, I joined the band, uh, I think, two years ago now, or about two. Um, I met Alex it through like their old drummer. Um, Oh, three. Okay, going on three years. Yeah, so I joined in 2021. Um, I met Alex through um, their mutual drummer, their old drummer, I'm sorry. And uh, me and him were kind of jamming around, and uh, he mentioned to Alex that they wanted to add a, a second guitar player, and I joined, and then I left for about a year uh, for some mental health reasons and came back, and yeah, here we are. Here you are. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Um, it, what was it like... Recording, recording Black Hole. We, I, I got Alex's perspective on it, and he told me what it meant to him lyrically. But I feel like it's one of the heavier songs that you guys now have in your set. And how's the fans' reaction to when you guys are playing it? So, I had a lot of fun recording it. Uh, it's definitely one of the heavier ones that we have now. Um, honestly, one of my favorite parts to play is definitely the breakdown because we get to get to get a little gallopy and stuff in it like i did back in my old days with playing death metal and uh man it was just all around really fun experience recording it i mean like getting to get in there and just grind it out and get it done we, we recorded with uh john norris from uh, kingdom collapse oh, okay cool Hell yeah do yeah which that was a lot of fun do you think that this is the start of the band maybe going a little bit of a heavier direction obviously the cleans are, are there they're, they're staying i would guess but do you think that in the future we might be a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier, but then nice, clean, clean hooks? Is that? Well, this? if you look over the progression from our our first EP we released in 2020, so now it's it's kind of been slowly progressing that way anyway. Um, and I think we talked about this before, where my old stuff was almost like 21 Pilot type shit. So we, I kind of planned it that way. Like this is the kind of music that I wanted to put out. From the get-go but i didn't want to lose our day one fans that were used to a much softer version of envision so we kind of slowly progressed and got heavier with every release gotcha that's cool uh I, i'm hoping everyone is prepared to do some hot sauce because i'm going to stump you guys today not if you're coming with star wars bro like <laughs> we've done I mean, this I'm before ready. but i ain't scared yeah okay so what what is the agreed upon trivia topic and if we are going star wars what movie what are we thinking oh man you can throw anything from star wars at me bro all right i, I do this i'm just <laughs> I'm saying i do this i stump people left and right about star wars 
Okay, so uh, you, we won't call upon you, I suppose, if when the trivia comes to us. We'll go. I'm gonna go attack of the clones, and I need a second to find some trivia um, regarding attack. Oh, can it be attack of the clones, or is that too hard? Because there's so many attack of the clones like cartoons and stuff. It's cartoons, yeah. right? Okay. Is that okay? okay. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Randy's over here, like, oh no. After while I, I need I need to do a stall question, but while while uh, black hole black hole drops today, and I know that there's there's the music video probably within a week it was discussed earlier. What are you guys allowed to tell us about 2024, the remainder of 2024 that we can look forward to regarding the band? Like, is there any any maybe California dates in the future that are being discussed, or uh, just what are you allowed to tell us? Um, yeah, so. No, nothing California for the time being as for like writing new music, getting the lineup solidified. And honestly, just the state of touring right now across the nation for bands at our level. We're sticking kind of regionally for at least this year and uh, going to try to focus on the online presence, um, get every all of that back where it was at its height um, and hopefully like beyond that. Um, Next year, we can look at some more touring and stuff, but it's it's like it's it's rough out there. It is it is rough out there. Most most places, if you get outside of three or four states around us, they want you to drive you know twenty hours for a door deal or for like seventy bucks, and right, it's yeah. just not it's not doable. That's not even enough to put gas in the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes us two hundred fifty bucks to go eight hours. I totally yeah. understand, and it, I think that's yeah. smart. Like, just dominate work on just dominating you know like a 300 mile circle like if you just put a pin in the map and that's where you guys all that's your local scene 10 minutes away just draw a big circle Dude, 300 miles and just that, destroy all that that's exactly it yeah i'm actually working right now about going three hours into the gulf of mexico to play a show on an oil rig that's smart i, I think that's a good decision <laughs> but <laughs> What does that work though? <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, that's for the rest of the year. We we've got at least one so, one more song coming, um, which has some pretty cool shit on it. But I can't say more about that right now. And then we're gonna spend uh, a good amount of time getting ready for next year because we want to drop at least double the amount of songs next year. Cool. Well, get ready to be stumped. So here we go. In uh, in Star Wars, Clone Wars. Now it doesn't specify where this comes from in within Clone Wars, but this is your trivia, fellas. Good luck. Now, if you don't get it right, do hot sauce. Whether you get it right or wrong, I am going to do some hot sauce. Whether you get it right or wrong, what are the poison? I don't have anything hot enough for him. Oh, I got some blueberry oh, hellfire. That's what I'm working with. What are Ooh, the? Oh, that's fire. It's it's like a four out of ten on heat. What are the poisonous creatures sent to kill Padme called? Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Oh, shit. What's up, JB? What's up, JB? What's up, JB? I should know this one. What are the poisonous yeah, no, creatures that, that are that, uh, sent to kill Padme? BG, you got me. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised right now. So everyone's doing hot sauce. I guess so. Enjoy, fellas. I'm gonna pretend and just pretend it's the hottest thing I've ever had. Chase, I'm assuming that you have just like in, in your glove box, Chase. You just have a little right there in the glove box, just a hot sauce. Bam! Cheers. Enjoy. Hold on. I think what I'm gonna do is for each thing I get wrong, I'm just gonna put. More gum on that. Oh, we forgot to mention that. Okay. I only I usually only do two questions. I usually only do two questions, but it's fun. Like while while the People are suffering that, you know, to, to talk while their mouth's on fire. So I'll look up one more. But um, what were you saying oh. earlier about, about okay. Hop Out, Alex? Why did you want us to jam them? And we're not going to jam them right now, but I'll, I'll do it after this. But uh, <laughs> what, what was the significance of Hop Out? We're, we're, I'm sorry. We were trying to catch up because Randy, I forgot to tell him about the hot sauce thing. So He, he missed that He's kind of cut off hard. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm doing this Toronto right. hot sauce. I'm doing the ghost pepper. Woo! Enjoy. Be careful. Oh man, that's such a good flavor. You want to do it? 
Oh, Alex, you look you like you're having fun. Get it, Randy. Get in on it. Get in on it. He's going to do it. Don't be He's shy. Do yeah, there we go. Hey. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the flavor is good, yeah, but that's ghost pepper wing sauce, and it is something. Um, so I sent in Pop Out because you had asked me how I knew everybody, and Chase and me had been playing music for at least a year together. Kevin, me, and Randy all went to middle school together, and David, who is conveniently covered up by the V in that uh, yes. Spotify poster, um, he uh, he was introduced to us by Hop Out the band. Okay. We're friends of Pop Out, and he moved into our area from Pensacola. And yeah, so since they kind of made the link for us, I want to show them because that's the band I told you about has three lead vocalists. Right. Which is and awesome. They part. Yeah, they're they're freaking dope and even more dope live. Like they're incredible. And they're great dudes to hang out with too. Yeah. Last time we uh, we did a tour with them in twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. In twenty two. And uh, they crashed on my house while they were here, which started morning in May from Ohio. We went on tour with them in August, and they hung out at Casa de Alex for like a week and a half. And so that's another thing too. If there's any touring bands that are watching this that come through South Mississippi, like hit me up. I'm a badass cook on the grill. I'll get you fed and give you a, a warm shower and a place to stay. But don't ask him to carry the food to the table after today. <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, uh, I want to know more about about Hair and Randy and, and Chase, if possible, for a second. Are you guys? Do you guys have any any? I know it's funny here, but um, do you guys have any, any any phobias? And then, completely separate question: Right before you go on stage, do you do you put the 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 AirPods in or anything like? What gets you hyped right before stage? Do you guys have like a ritual or anything? So I don't have any phobias. Well, no, I'm a, I'm a little afraid of heights. But I have this irrational fear that every time that I swim at a lake or a river, like if I'm swimming towards the deeper end, I'm scared I'm going to kick an alligator and it's going to eat me. That is a big Top. fear in my brain at Top. all times. Got him. Chase is also afraid of his intense feelings. For me. Got him. <laughs> hey, don't call me out like that. I'm from I'm from South Florida, so I know all about the gators, dude. I know all about the gators. You got to be careful in the lakes. Randy, what are you afraid of? It's, it, it's it. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm afraid of it, I guess. But the first thing that comes to mind is like my hands getting pruny. <laughs> it's like a weird thing. <laughs> like I don't know. Water wait, 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 wait. Hold up. What did you say? Your hands, what? Getting pruny. Hold up. <laughs> getting pruny? Yeah, like it, when you take a Like in the water? Like you. Yeah. yeah. So you 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 damn near like set a timer for a bath like just like oh it's three yeah, minutes right. I'm in and out no prunes. Right. The first wrinkle he sees he's like no I'm gonna get out. <laughs> All right cool I've never heard that one, but uh, sure. When he gets old he's gonna wake up every day and be like no no yeah. oh, no God. no <laughs> no. <laughs> no! <laughs> for sure. Uh, do, but what about, what about rituals? Like talking about going on, on stage right before, do you, do you guys, you know, uh, everyone has their own individual warm up. I know it's different for vocalist Alex regarding you, but what, do, what do you guys do five minutes before? And this is your next band Envision, blah, blah, blah. Right before that happens. What, what's going on backstage? So I plug in my headphones and do like a vocal warm up, And then I just shut up and just go hide in a corner for a little while with an ear with an earbud in and go get hyped and Makes slowly so, progress Alex's hair get the, the vibes right get the vibes right so I actually I go stretch I do it every show just because I've I've gone on stage without stretch before and it's it's not fun to, to like after the show be like all stoved up or like you pulled a muscle so I make sure I stretch really good and then I go I just go do a quick like because I, I just I only scream whenever I'm doing vocals in, on stage. So I just go do a quick just check, check my tones and everything. Because I learned the hard way uh, last summer what overdoing your screams can do. Because I actually learned how to false chord scream last summer. Because I've, I've been doing fry all my life. And I practiced it too much. And I actually blew my vocal cords out at a show in Louisiana. Wow. Like, so. Shout out to the Almas for saving your ass. Oh, he they sure did. Dude, big shout out to the Almas. Like before I went on stage, it, it was it was bad. Like I could hardly talk and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. 
Crystal from the Almost was like, well, I have a drink that might help you out. And it's it's literally just this little, like, homemade drink of gummy berries and honey and hot water that you sip on. And, it, dude, it coated my throat and it got me through the show. I mean, I still wasn't doing too good afterwards, but I got through it. My tone was okay. It wasn't its best, but it, I, I survived the show and I didn't sound like shit. So. You say gummy bears? Yeah, yeah gummy bears and honey. So it's like melted water. gummy bears and in what yep. into water? Yep. I've never heard that either. That's interesting. I have, dude, it blew my mind. It works. That's awesome. So Hell a lot yeah. of times, if, if my throat, if like I don't do it every time, but if my throat feels a little funny, I like especially more on tour. I keep gummy bears and honey on the tour bus now. I, just I, I don't blame you. Just in case, you know. I don't blame. It you. came in clutch. Well, fellas, it's time for me to stump you one more time. So hopefully the hot sauce has cleared off and it's going to re-singe again. Here we go. Oh, what? What? I um, uh, I just noticed uh, Lizzie followed, and um, so I've been playing this game on mobile called White House Survival, and I'm in part of Alliance, and I invited like my whole state to come in. So if that is Lizzie from White House Survival, like, give me a thumbs up or something in the chat, or if I have any of my friends from there, like, give me a thumbs up in the chat just so I can shout you out. <laughs> Hell yeah. I know, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. It's cool, man. Like, there were um, a bunch of them pre saved the song and stuff and uh, are super supportive. And then sometimes when I get in like the world chat for our server, they'll be like, oh, the singer's here. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Uh, but, but this part may not be so awesome because hot sauce again. Here we go. Nope. Don't like it. Star Wars. Oh, boy. Who is the queen of Naboo? That's it. That's the question. Who is the queen Whoa. of Naboo? N-A-B-O-O. -O. I mean, the real queen is Anakin Skywalker, but I mean... Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> but it's uh, Padme Amidala. Yep, agreed. <laughs> Chase. I didn't know the answer, so I had to hide for a second and come back. Do you repeat, wait, repeat the answer that you said, Padme? Amidala. Oh, wait, in episode two, she was a senator. Fuck. Because uh, uh. <laughs> that's not what I have in my end. I'll give you one more shot. It starts with oh, a God. J. Dude. Oh, my God. BG, what the fuck, dude? Uh, <laughs> what are you like? Hey, we asked for this, so to be fair. Uh, yeah, we did talk a lot of shit. So. I just didn't think you were going to go on, like, all the NPCs. Yeah, you you told me to pick, and you said, I, you, you bluntly was like, anything Star Wars, we got this, bum, bum, bum. So I, that, <laughs> uh, that right there was like, okay, like, I'm, I'm going Clone Wars because there's, like, 400 episodes. It's going to be tough. Let's get them. <laughs> no, this is all from the movie. This isn't even into the, the cartoon series. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. See, I, I, I've seen every Star Wars, but I've seen it once. I don't know. I'm, I think that's a stump, though. I think that's a stump. Ja Jamalia. Jamalia yeah, is is the answer. Oh my god. Is there so we'll do we'll, we'll do some more hot sauce. Is there is there and this time I'm going to go the ghost pepper and blueberry from Bravado. Uh while we're suffering fellas, please uh mention something that we didn't discuss today. Anything you want us to know about, plug, promote, anything before we let you go. And Alex, obviously you you're welcome to hang for a while cuz we had pre-planned all this and I'm live for another hour and 15 or so if you would like i would love to cool plug promote time whatever you guys want um uh, obviously we, we want to plug uh local band smoke out for actually being one of our first ever tour sponsors <laughs> oh, last year. Yeah. appreciate it and uh you know we already talked about jonathan norris who's been working with us on um all of our releases for this year um and we're super stoked to work with him and the sound is a radio station, online radio station that does a lot of underground rock from our area. We love them a bunch. Um, I think that's about it. We got a couple of shows coming up this Sunday. We're going to be playing with Morning May, and I heard you play Life right now earlier. We're going to be playing with them in New Orleans. Um, we're love Morning in May. Yeah, dude, those guys are so super fun. excited to see them. Um, we're playing with the Bunny, the Bear, and Famous Last Words. Love both of those. Friends with both of those bands too. Great guys, Matt, yeah. Matt, and uh... God, I forgot the other homie off the top of my head. But continue. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Oh, you're good. Um, 
playing with uh, Seven, which is another band from our area, and then this new band that we found. They're called the Mystical Hot Chocolate Endeavors. We're playing with them in June. Such a cool and, name. That is yeah, dope. yeah. And they're like they're like shoegaze. Like that is such a crazy name for like a shoegaze band. Hell yeah. Um, and then King Collapse in June as well. So we're super excited for that. You guys are stocked up, stocked up on on good shows coming. And then if you if you'd like, go ahead and drop the the pre save link for for tonight for the the big drop for Black Hole tonight if you'd like. Obviously, main reason they're hanging out today. New lineup, Black Hole single comes out at midnight for Envision. We think the music video dropping here within a week or so. Are you guys just going traditional route YouTube channel, or are you going like big drop for that? Uh, it'll, it'll be on our YouTube channel. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. So uh, make sure to, to uh, subscribe to their channel. You can drop that into the chat. If link trees, whatever you guys want. That's awesome. But fellas, I appreciate you. Thank you, Chase, for calling in from afar. I know we were missing someone. I did not catch his name. I apologize. But uh, shout out to him. Thank you, Hare. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Alex, of course. But Alex is sticking around for a little bit. Be on the lookout for Black Hole. Drops at midnight. Ladies and gentlemen, and vision. Give me a hell yeah. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah.